So in order to keep people safe, local churches are telling people not to come in person to some of their services, but they do have another way for people to still worship. Ramon Galindo is in Liberty Station, where the Rock Church is scheduled to give a live stream of their services. Ramon? Yeah, it's not usual for the Rock Church to turn people away, but that's what they're doing today, all in hopes of keeping the worshipers safe. There's going to be an online service and a special message, not just from the pastor, but a lot of local leaders. We're going to have more on that message of hope and safety straight ahead. Sunday worshipers are receiving a message of hope, but also of safety. Coronavirus concerns are affecting all aspects of life. That includes Sunday church services. NBC7's Ramon Galindo is live at the Rock Church in Liberty Station to tell us, I mean, really how we're all sort of dealing with this health emergency, Ramon, but we also, uh, you know, it's nice to keep our faith and also uh, sort of stay in our routine for a lot of people here. Yeah, Sunday worship is so, so much of our habit for so many people here in San Diego. And a lot of churches are still having in-person service this Sunday, but that's not the case here at the Rock Church. I mean, if you look here at the lobby, usually before Sunday service, this place is hustling and bustling. That is not the case. Actually, right now, uh, they're still cleaning uh, people here, trying to disinfect everything. But there aren't going to be many people here, only essential staff. 30,000 worshipers instead are expected to pray and receive their message online, all part of the precautions being taken during this coronavirus outbreak. The Rock Church, they're taking the, pre the precautionary step. They will be live streaming services throughout the day instead of having the worshipers here. If someone wants to come and pray at the church, they're going to be turned away and it's all for their own safety. And this really all goes along with the recommendation of state and local health officials who want to stop large gatherings. Besides the normal Sunday message, though, there's going to be a, a special guest here today, including Mayor Kevin Faulkner, Dr. Wilma Wooten, and uh, several other local leaders. I talked to Al Cajon Mayor Bill Wells here, and their message really is to not live in fear, that we can help each other, even though they're urging people to practice this social distancing that we're hearing all about. You can still help each other. You can still pray together. Now they're using technology to do that. So uh, right now, those city leaders and the pastor, Miles McPherson, they're inside right now doing mic checks and really doing something that, that, that they haven't had to do here before. They're going to have that online service. They're going to be live streaming so that people can watch online and still feel, feel that energy that they get when they go to church. But unfortunately, they just won't be able to do it in the normal way. This is just another example of how this emergency is really transforming how we live our daily lives. So here, uh, the cleaning is still going on. Leaders are preparing for the morning service. The first service here at the Rock Church is at 8 a.m. And again, it's going to be all online. No one coming to church here on this Sunday. Live in Liberty Station, Ramon Glindo, NBC7.